hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi hello my name is chanel and i'm an urban homesteader here in st louis missouri today i was feeling a little depressed after the holidays I, I don't know maybe it was just too much pie i had a really great time with my family i'm glad the holidays are over so i need to get out here and do some homesteading chores and i'm gonna take you guys along with me I actually did not plan this video. This is kind of just a random video. I guess I was just feeling a little blah, <laughs> icky, like just sad, not like really depressed, but just, hmm, I needed to come outside. That's what it was. I needed to come outside, get some sunshine. It's like 47 degrees out here. And there's some things I need to do inside of the greenhouse so i'm gonna take care of that today and do a little bit of garden cleanup the celery over here did not make the thanksgiving table <laughs> and none of these collards or greens made the table either um let's see i know inside the greenhouse before um like a couple weeks ago, we had a really nasty aphid infestation. And all I did was rinse the leaves off. I really, I don't like to spray. I do not like to spray my plants. But the infestation inside the greenhouse is really bad. And I think I might have to get the neem oil. Look at that. I mean, it's, it's horrible. This plant's going to get pulled out along with the rest of the lettuce which has bolted the aphids are over here they have moved over here so yeah i'm gonna have to get some neem on these plants the lettuce here has bolted surprise this rosemary is doing okay and this parsley is doing all right it's kind of old right here but it's still growing it's still okay so i'm gonna clean that up as well i planted out this green stock a couple of weeks ago and it's filling in i'm impressed this is some lettuce some beans i wanted to trial out how they will grow inside of the greenhouse and this is the first year inside of the greenhouse where i did not cover the inside with any plastic or anything and the temperature is holding up very well so i'm really proud of that my pepper plant though may have gone to glory this looks really bad yeah i think that one's done this one's still trying to hang in there this is some Egyptian walking onion. It is doing great. So I'm going to get that watered. And I have one little fig over here. And I'm going to get that fig tree watered as well. So far I went ahead and I removed the lettuce plants. That kale plant that was back there that was infested with aphids. And another dinosaur kale plant. While I was in here... I went ahead and I usually do not like to spray, but I went ahead and sprayed with some neem oil just to get the infestation under control. Over here, none of the cabbages were touched. I did not spray them. I left that romaine plant there and we had a small outbreak on this plant here. So I went ahead and I just sprayed it for a precaution. Usually I don't use anything. I just use a hose um to control the aphid population but it was just way too bad and i was not um with my schedule next week i'm just not able to stay on top of it so i went ahead and sprayed pulled out some more plants and i even pulled out this sweet potato i got a tiny one right there and i'm just gonna throw this grow bag back outside so with these plants here i'm not going to put them in a compost i'm going to take them straight to the trash my next project is to thin out some of this romaine lettuce i'm going to put it over there in those spots there and in this grow bag okay i transplanted as many as i could 
I've said before in the past, lettuce is not my friend. I struggle growing lettuce. I may have transplanted these seedlings a little too young, but we'll see what they can do. Um, because they were so tiny and finicky, I left the rest. I'm going to let them mature a little bit longer before I thin and transplant them out. And I put one over here. So now what I'm going to do is get everything in here watered and fertilized. I have my handy dandy watering wand here. And I have some fish emulsion here and I'm just going to water up these plants. So I figured I'll tell you guys a little bit about me. I do work a traditional nine to five job. Um, I live in an urban setting, suburban neighborhood. I am a first generation homesteader, but I have been growing my own food for about, I think this is my second or third year growing my own food. Um, I truly love it. And I started this journey just to see, you know, what all I can do for myself, how I can just sustain myself without relying on other sources for my food and medicine and things like that. My goal is to inspire other urban homesteaders to join the movement, uh, join the movement of self-sufficiency. And the upcoming spring, I have plans on adding bees and chickens to my homestead. Um, I have plans to do that this year, but life got busy so next spring um, I do plan to get a couple of pullets and some bees and I'm going to start my beekeeping and chicken journey here in my little suburban backyard. I do have plans to buy land and eventually move to a larger homestead but that's not in the near future maybe three four years down the line. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about how I manage my homestead with a full-time job, just drop them down in a comment section and I will answer them for you. So I got everything fertilized and watered. And now we're going to move over to the worm bin. I want to check on the worms, see how they are doing. And look at all this good 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 vermicompost and stuff is looking great now this worm bin i have this is the only worm bin where i've really been successful with keeping my worms alive so i am proud of that this system works out well for me this is a vermi hut i ordered it off of amazon there are many ways that you can just do your own like DIY worm composting system but um, I've tried those they did not work out well for me so I just went ahead and spent the money to purchase a vermicomposting bin and this bin was full of shredded cardboard and as you can see most of it has broken down like I mean it was packed with nothing but cardboard so the worms have been working breaking um, food scraps down and that cardboard. I do not feed these worms often and I'm guilty of that. I feed them once maybe every two weeks, sometimes once every three weeks. Um, and that has been working for me. The bin does not have a smell. Um, there are no critters or anything like that trying to get inside of it. So I'm going to keep up with that feeding schedule because that is what's working. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. We got a lot done this afternoon, um, just enough for my energy level um, and things like that. So I appreciate you guys joining me this afternoon on this little garden project. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving this video a thumbs up, and I'll catch you all in the next one.